I'd really love the, for the opportunity to set up some content here. Speaking still to the same game crowd, but sort of spanning all mediums, um, give me that opportunity. So that happened a year and a half ago, and now we're going to make more deal and, and focus much more on sort of new media and cutting edge stuff. Um, cutting edge at this studio usually means you're kind of on your own. Yeah. Like you figure it out and tell us what to do. Right, that's what we're in right now. Um, but it's also fun because um, they don't get in your hair as much because um, they don't know how to. <laughs> um, so it's, it's, it's really difficult. Um, it, it changes every day, but it's, it's a lot of fun. And I think it's a lot more rewarding on a day-to-day basis. It's cool. That's great. Um, and you get to work with a lot of uh, new people as opposed to the same writers and directors with the program. Okay, after the introduction, I want to talk to you about some of the new media stuff you're doing. Okay. Okay, but, um, so, but your focus, it sounds like you're doing all kinds of different pieces for that gaming community. Is that the focus? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, yeah, we, we've established that our our core audience is males 14 to 34. And most of our content should be that audience. Now, I will say that as we've developed more and more online media, and, and we still want to be sort of a cutting edge company and the, the company that can, I mean, we do, we'll, we'll come up with a concept, we'll find a writer, we'll, we'll find distribution, we'll add advertising and, and edit it and produce it and put it up. Um, and in that, we're like, okay, well, if we can do all this, um, some other opportunities that are still new media oriented or cutting edge oriented might feed another audience. We're like, well, Okay, we can, you know, we can do this as long as it's still sort of trying to establish uh, a voice in new media and and, and and still do something that's innovative. Cool. Good. Okay, let's uh, let's go around the table and just introduce yourself. We'll start right over here so you know who they are. I'm Sandra Matheson from Bellingham, Washington, and in addition to writing TV films, I also play TV and television. Oh. I'm Sharon Hunter from Princeton. Yeah, we gotta check it out. We don't know what's going on. People are watching YouTube because we have nothing else to do, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, things have changed already since then. Yes, yes, I feel like they change bi-weekly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe not monthly, even. So from a new media perspective, and I understand when you say they're leaving you alone, because, I mean, what they're going to do is put their fingers in what, right? <laughs> you can't even tell what it is sometimes. Yeah. So what's what's the game like right now? Um, it's funny you say so because our first online show was distributed by Sony. Um, we have, our next online show is going to be distributed by one another. Um, and it, it, it seems like there's probably three different types of outlets for, for online media. Um, there is, or, or, or entities that are existing, there's the production company. There's a couple of companies like us that can produce it in its entirety uh, from beginning to end and deliver it and know sort of how to deliver it and what the, what the technology means and what, they, um, what it requires and all that. There's um, distribution outlets that are trying to create themselves as a um, social network as well as, hey, while you're here, while you're talking to us, and while you tell us what's cool, there's also some original content that will make you continue to, to come back. Like MySpace TV. Yeah. And then there's, you see MySpace sort of rides the line between that and being a video warehouse, which is like a YouTube and a MySpace and a uh, Reaver and Break and all of those. And, and a lot of those that have established themselves as a, as a warehouse realize, well, you can go over here and see, um, I don't know how many of you watch all this stuff on YouTube, but like Red and Buck Hollywood and all these weird sort of personalities that exist there, but are they really making any money, even for themselves, like for the time that they're putting in, great if they really enjoy it, but if they want to do it full time, they need to make money off of it. So they, so YouTube and MySpace are sort of trying to bring in original content, which is sort of what Crackle, which belongs to Sony, or uh, Fearnet, um, or 60 Frames is doing. And it's, it, it continues to change. I mean, even today, I think YouTube announced that they're doing deals with independent filmmakers. Um, 
to, to put stuff on there and they have the they've rewired all of their systems so that they have the capacity to let you watch it in higher quality or download it to HD. Which is sort of what they're yeah, they're trying to do because they realize, well, sure they can they can store everything, but then everybody's just gonna get used to like, oh I can either see it the crappy version on YouTube or I'll go look for the original version on sixty frames. And then they, they sort of become obsolete that way. Interesting. Okay. So um, so is your model right now, are you actually going out and looking for stuff or are you creating brand new stuff? Or both? Um, a little bit of both and again it changes as we as we sort of go down the path. Um, we we originally started with Warner Brothers is getting into on in, into new media. We had just opened up shop basically. We had a huge action movie that had been developed for like sixty years. Six years, it felt like six years. For six <laughs> years, <laughs> and um, and it was just going through the regular studio development process. And we're like, well, we can't wait on that. And if we go and uh, go and, and and acquire properties and develop them and bring them to the studio, um, we're not going to get fed for a really long time. Um, and I mean, the studio the studio with the deal sort of gives you a little money to play with, but you can't really put a staff together and, and, and do that with, and, and make them happy to and deliver something to them so they can feel that they're getting their money's worth. Um, we're like, okay, so, you know, secondary, we're going to bring huge properties in, but um, we're going to try and attack something that is a little more uh, immediate, which is TV, because it's year by year. We got into TV, and then through TV, they are, are the ones sort of running a lot of the online effort, and then we started to get into online, and I totally forgot what your That's question okay. was. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, that happens. I know. It's, it's quite a world. Um, so are you guys having... Oh, newer, newer or uh, internally done stuff. We started with, hey, um, I know some writers. Let me see what ideas they have. And uh, one of the first ideas that, that we thought, this is great for online, and, and it was an, out, an outsourced idea. Um, was let's do a show called Five, and it's uh, a high school tongue-in-cheek parody of Twenty Four, um, mm -hmm. and it's set. It's five minutes each show, each show, and <coughs> the season is one day, and he has to fight crime between classes and sort of solve a mystery. And you know his nemesis is the security guard who thinks he's just up to wacky hijinks, and somehow the teachers, you know, are, are uh, in on this as well. And so we're like, this is a great idea. You know, let's let's get you to write it. Let's go look online and find some uh, some really innovative innovative filmmakers to come here and do it sort of shitty gorilla stuff. Um, and we did that, and we've been working with that writer and trying to get advertising to take on that. And then there was some internally stuff, uh, internally uh, process concepts that we we sort of got all the characters and story ideas together, and um, and then went out and said, can we execute on this? And as we move forward and we talk to advertisers, which is sort of the next step of, well, we can maybe personally fund a pilot, but we need someone to, to really get in here and, and sponsor the series and throw it online and, and get people involved and get viewers to watch it. Um, which is, I mean, sort of the TV model, except you're, you're sort of guaranteed, the network guarantees they're going to fund the advertisers for you. Or in new media, you can't do that yet. The advertisers aren't saying, well, I'm just going to put all my money in YouTube, whatever is on there. Right. 